Hello everyone, today is Sunday, August 16th, 2020. Um, I have, me and my twin sister have nine days until our 37th birthday. And I'm forbidden and not allowed to contact her. Um, so... I mean, I just thought this earlier this morning that, wow, last year was the first time I ever in my life, I'm going to be 37, and the first time I ever in my life had a job around my birthday or on my birthday. Um, and I chose to work on my birthday, calling myself you know, being a dedicated employee, dedicated worker, and trying to just be a hard worker, I, you know, did not request or take off for my birthday last year. And, I mean, the day itself was a good day, but of course not perfect. But, you know, my twin sister ruined it the night before in advance and she's still giving me the silent treatment but I never told her about targeted individuals or gang stalking but I um I mean she made it like I was more crazy and she smear campaigned me for just simply talking about the Illuminati and New World Order. And she went and smear campaigned me to the biological family and brainwashed them so that they refused to hear anything I have to say. Um, even if it's good stuff or anything positive, they don't want to hear a damn thing I have to say. They hate me more, worse than she does. And that's how narcissistic abusers do. It's like, it's like that flying monkey ends up hating you worse than the narcissist. And after the narcissist, um, after they smear campaign you, and then they come talking to you in your face, like as if everything is cool and normal, you know, and then you call yourself running to them with your problems and then not realizing they're the mastermind. You, you don't find out till later on that they're the mastermind behind why somebody else is treating you so dirty. <clears throat> you know, I am totally cut off in my well, both foster and biological family and the former cult members, people I went to school with, and um, the stinking craft family want nothing to do with me. Nothing. Um, I am clearly not welcome around them or allowed around them. Um, so... <sighs> Last year, I also spent the night, <clears throat> you know, spent my birthday, even though I was employed, spent my birthday homeless on the streets. And it seems like with the low-wage part-time jobs that they, you know, little the little bit of work they allowed me to do, um... I would be making, like, after taxes, be making, like, $600 a month after taxes by itself with the low-wage part-time jobs, 20 hours a week. And they try to block me from working full-time before I even start, you know. And, and then, um, you know, they just won't let me work full-time. And some people say, oh, they just don't want you to work full time because, you know, they don't want you to, they don't want you with any health benefits. 
Well, I don't, I, I don't care. I already get Medicaid. But it's like I'm supposed to have been on all. This person is a gang stalker. All these. Look how slow they driving. Um, that's that lady again with the Buick Envision. But to an outsider, somebody will be like, well, that lady ain't worried about you. She's minding her business. Well, you're ignorant. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, they love to show themselves on a film when you're um when I'm recording and talking like this. Th they love to show themselves, but then they want to they show themselves on purpose just to justify an excuse getting mad at you when you film them. You know, so um it's like where was I? They too she did that on purpose. Now I lost my train of thought. Okay, um, so <clears throat> I'm not allowed. I mean, I was been on a ticket to work program for years, and that's like, I, I mean, where you, you can you're supposed to for the first nine months work, however, however many, um, uh, how how much you can work as much as you want without it affecting your benefit, your Social Security and SSI benefits. <clears throat> and, you know, one person told me that that's how you know you're targeted, that you have a, you're have highly intelligent and you have a college degree, yet you can't even get a job anywhere. McDonald's won't even hire me. McDonald's, what they do is, you know how they have these fake tests that you had to pass just to work at McDonald's? And they try to make it like as if I'm too dumb to pass the test. But when I was in high school, <clears throat> what they would do is um, sneak behind my back and take like a, nearly an hour to act like they're correcting. And this was like I was 17 years old or probably even younger than that. And they would tell me to come back in like two months or so or six weeks or whatever. <clears throat> but I would come, I would um, fill out the application and then take the test. And then the gay man, I mean, you hit receive a four. Tell me I need, a he always told me, would tell me I received a score of four. But then he would take over an hour to grade like a freaking, uh, I don't know, less than 20 question test that's just simply multiple choice. So I didn't, that was perping right there, my senior year in high school. They started perp. they were perping me before my first job my senior year in high school, and I didn't realize it until thinking back. That's why I say, don't tell me forget about the past or the negative, because you're pre trying to prevent me from connecting the dots on my past years of targeting. You know, if the targeting won't stop until the day we die, I get treated uniformly the same way by everybody online and in person and everywhere I go. Even 2005, before Hurricane Katrina, when I went to Costa Rica, um, I, I, I mean, I was treated with, um, I was treated with abuse and disrespect and hate for no reason by those Costa Ricans. And it's like the only Costa Ricans who accepted and embraced me was the um, Afro Costa Ricans. Those the only ones that loved me was the Afro Costa Ricans. But the Costa Ricans who look more indigenous, um, I guess indigenous or mestizo, those are the ones who hated my guts. You know, so... um. I didn't realize I was being gang stalked there too because even the host mom didn't speak English, but twice she falsely accused me of throwing, she falsely accused me of putting a diaper, she falsely accused me of flushing a diaper down, down the toilet twice. Like, why would I do that? And I, w I wasn't even, um, 
you know, we weren't even allowed to flush um, toilet paper down the toilet because of the weak septic system. So why would I try to flush, um, you know, pamper or diaper down the toilet? You know, that's impossible to go all the way down the toilet. But, you know, in those five weeks, you know, I didn't realize the host mom in Costa Rica was perping me. And and her son, uh, Mariano, um, was my age and kept a distance from me and hated me the, the moment I got there. And then that white Spanish professor, she doesn't deserve to be called doctor, so I call her fraudster Elaine Brooks from University of New Orleans. She smear, she's highly narcissistic, and she smear campaigned me. She's white and delusionally believes she's Mexican. And she smear campaigned me before I even got to Costa Rica. And, and everybody treated me bad except this one girl named Nadine from Sri Lanka. And me and her ended up being very close. And then after a while, she got hateful and turned against me and, you, you know, cut off all contact with me, you know. So, I mean, it's like everything in my life that was supposed to be positive or good was basically, you know, disaster. Like, oh, wow, move. In 2018, it was... The like the very next morning, early morning after my 35th birthday was when they wrongfully banned me from Harris Casino. And then when I explained with black people now, and they explained what I did wrong, and then they try to tell me, oh, we don't have to tell you what you did wrong. You're you're banned from here, and you're not allowed. And another time. I was trying to, I mean, and they tried, deliberately and on purpose blocked me from talking to somebody administrative to try to straighten the problem out. Yeah, they always do that. So, I mean, two years in a row, and I guess you can make this the third, me banned from, being banned from hotels, third year in a row being banned from somewhere um, around, my, around my birthday. And that Stars 15K person, you know, told that Charles Demerovingian person, great, good on you for getting the candy banned from hotels, you know. So I, I figured that when Miss Mary from the motel confronted me about my videos, I figured Stars 15K herself had called. I mean, this lady enjoys see, seeing me be destroyed, you know. And it's like, these people have to be satanic because it's like you're that gung-ho on wanting somebody to be just destroyed. Do you want me off the face of this earth? <clears throat> because this is how narcissistic abusers and gang-stalking perps operate. They want to deliberately and on purpose try everything they can to try to drive you to want to be eliminate, wipe yourself off the face of this earth. They drive you to want to wipe yourself off the face of this earth. And then when you do something like take an overdose of like 100 Benadryls, that's when they want to pretend to, like, like another problem reaction solution kind of thing, you know? They want to pretend to be a savior. You know, like, like all of a sudden they want to pretend to fake care, you know? But now, I, I mean, I'm realizing that, like I was reading Psalms in the Bible yesterday, and it's like reminded me exactly what I was going through. And, you know, it's like Psalm 34 and 16. Yeah, that's replies to you, gang stalkers. And I have to remember Psalm 27 and 10. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. You know, so. Um, and yes, foster and biological parents and family forsook me, you know, so 
I'm glad the Lord has taken me up, you know. So, one person told me yesterday, well, I didn't realize, I, well, I guess I kind of, you know, I didn't do videos for two days, but, you know, well, everybody acts like they're sick and tired of me and they want me to disappear. You say you're targeted, but you want me to ignore everything and you have this and you agree with and defend the perps with everything. How are you going to say that? Oh, I'm going to cut off all contact with you if you don't stand up and fight against these perps. And then five minutes later, you're telling me I should ignore everything, you know. Or that I should even ignore the vibrating, and I should ignore, I'm like, so you think I should ignore people trying to run me over with their car? Yeah. But then you'd say, oh, well, I don't even know if you're a real T.I. or not. I don't even know if you're real or not. All the damn videos you've seen and, and, the, and the interaction you've seen between me and Alex, you can't say that you don't know if I'm real. Or they had this one person on Twitter, and like hundreds of people agree with this motherfucker, I think he calls himself Hal or something like that. And he says, um, oh, the um, gang stalking is not real. It's artificial intelligence and make, manipulating you into believe, believing that everybody hates you and is following you around and gang stalking you. It's like the perps get more credit. The fake T.I. perps get more credit and respect than... You know, the people who are really struggling out here. One person attacked me on Facebook for saying that, that targeted individuals are dropping like flies, whether it be by suicide or whether they be or somebody murdering them. How, you can't ignore somebody stealing from you, bugging your house, and um, like gassing you up and poisoning your food and stuff. How are you going to ignore all that stuff, you know? Um... Oh, they'll say, your experiences aren't that extreme. Uh, there's a lot of people going through way worse. Or you're not the only one going through this. Like, or you're not all that special. Um, perps feel the same way. So if you say you're targeted, why would you say that? I never once said I would, thought I was special, you know. But all these just freaking attacks and everything. And I felt like I needed to just take a little break, you know. And I, I wrote a short story on targeting when I try to post them on two different groups on Facebook, guess what they did? Um, they censored and blocked me from, um, they censored and blocked my story. I didn't even, I just copied and pasted. I didn't even post any link, but I copied, copied and pasted the content. But if y'all interested, I'm going to post a link below of my um, little short story that I did. Somebody suggested I write short stories. So, in addition to my three big books, I'm going to write short stories also. And I'm barely even functional. Like, the night before last and last night, I mean, two nights before and then the night before last, I slept pretty okay, better. But last night, I got almost nothing but a little bit. And I'm like, these bastards, they have me robbed. And I'm like, well, they, they should compensate me for the robbery of sleep and they should pay me to sleep in public and allow me to sleep in public. They should pay me and allow me to sleep in public. The fact that I'm being robbed and tortured of my sleep. And and lately they've been forcing, forcing me to, with urinary incontinence and peeing on myself and I can't even make it to the bathroom or my potty spot in time. And I end up being so soaked and soiled it's like the, the bladder pads that I use don't even hold. I mean, they don't hold all the pee. And it's like a lot of urine that come out, a lot of pee. And like they, now they're doing both forced diarrhea and forced pee, you know. And I've been trying to eat healthier. I already feel myself, my clothes feeling a little looser. Been trying to, and eating healthier costs more money. <laughs> oh, shucks. A fly just flew inside my nose. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Um, they've been doing that. Uh, sorry, I don't even know if these gangs talking because it wasn't until recently that flies try everything they could to get inside my nose, eyes, and ears all the time. I'm sorry, do not mean to gross y'all out. So I'm gonna go right now and bye bye.